fast. Chaos. Death was on me, I was certain. I was face down, eyes clenched, my heart pulsing the last of its seconds, and my lungs burning the last of its air. A sudden nostalgia gripped me. I grasped desperately for memory of a storm just past the fumbling pitch of a child's song. Yet all these thoughts seemed to steal away from my mind like smoke through a vent. I would die empty. I then became aware of another sensation, physical, a web of pain, needles itching into my arm. At once I realized I was alive. Laying in the bell's shattered cerro glass, I groped the ground, worn stone, the floor of my laboratory. So, I had never left, and so I had failed again. I heard a crunch alongside me, someone stepping through the shattered glass. With great shame, I gasped and rose my head to face my daughter above me. But as I opened my eyes, it wasn't her, it was me.